Today is a little bit of an interesting, different video. I don't really get on here and talk like that, but I want to get more into that. And today is New Year's. It is January 1st. Um, it's actually showing on my business, girl. Uh, it's, if you can't, it's 3, 321. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. I just filmed another video on this wig actually. So yeah, I've just been up and I literally decided to do this video yesterday. Um, I was just sitting here and I was like, hmm, because I've said previously, um, I'm in a different uh, place. I'm in Milwaukee, Wisconsin right now, visiting my dad for the holidays and it's new year's i was actually supposed to be in philadelphia right now um with my friend from howard she was celebrating her birthday and also new year's so i was supposed to be with friends in philadelphia right now but some things happened it didn't work out and i ended up having to stay here longer it's a long story but yeah so i ended up being here by myself um for new year's and i'm not mad at it because it gave me the opportunity to film this video and this is gonna be a little bit personal and i'm looking at my phone because i have notes and stuff that i want to go by but yeah i'm just talking about um the new year 2022 that's coming up um i'm reflecting on 2021 and yeah i'm just gonna be talking about a lot of personal stuff, my goals, things that I want to change going into the new year. I guess resolutions, but not really. I just really want to look at it as things that I want to change and do better for the next year. So that's what I'm talking about in this video. And I'm just going to jump in. Um, first of all, like I said, it is New Year's. Um, I'm by myself. I did like celebrate a little bit with my family or whatever, but now I'm alone and I have some sparkling <laughs> grape juice. I'm gonna pour this in a glass and I'm gonna sip it as I talk just to feel the spirit or whatever of New Year's since I'm alone. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna pour this up and then I'll start getting into the nitty gritty. Bye, now me pouring up like I'm drinking wine. Anyway. All right, first of all, for real, cheers. Clink, clink. Back to the point of this video. Again, I'm looking at my phone because I have notes and what specifically I wanted to talk about um, in this video. So, as I said, I was supposed to be in Philly uh, for New Year's, spending this time with friends, and it turns out that I had to stay in Milwaukee, and I'm here alone, and I tried my best to look at that in a positive way, rather than like, dang, I can't be with my friends, um, because now I feel like I really get to just sit here and reflect and just think about my life, and what I really want to do and do better rather um, in the next year and just reflect on last year and things that I don't know mistakes I made things that not went wrong but might not have went the best <laughs> I don't know I'm just I don't know what I'm trying to say but I'm just trying to look at this moment like the glass is half full um, I'm just trying to look at it like I have a chance to really just be alone and be in my thoughts and just do a lot of self-reflecting when it comes to my life in general. So, yeah. And another reason why I wanted to make this video is because, yes, my channel is like beauty. 
hair, makeup, lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I also want to start implementing a more personal aspect into my channel because I think that's what really gravitates people to you. Like the people that I watch on YouTube, I like their energy, I like their vibe. Like when they talk, I just, it's like I'm talking to a friend or listening to a friend, you know? That's who I like to watch. So that's what I want to be um, on my channel as well. Um, Cause at first I wasn't doing a lot of talking and I don't really have a lot of videos for real, but when I first started, I wasn't really doing a lot of talking cause I wasn't really used to the camera and whatnot. But now I feel like I'm getting more comfortable and I do want to start implementing more of who I am into my channel and not just, you know, surface level my hair, my makeup, what you guys see on the outside. I also want to start talking to you guys. Turned off. I also want to start talking to you guys um, so you can get to know a little bit more about me. And like I said, I feel like this is what draws people to people's channel is energy and, you know, just really messing with somebody's vibe and somebody's thoughts and somebody's, you know, thought process. So, that is another reason I wanted to make this video. But yeah, so we'll start off reflecting on 2021. Um, 2021 was a really rough year for me, I'll say. And I don't want to sound dramatic because it's not like I was just like going through so much and I was so damn bad, but it was just rough um, emotionally and internally. And not a lot of people like knew that or whatever but 2021 was like really like a learning year for me it was a growth year for me and it was an eye-opening year for me um i don't want to get too like deep into it but towards the end of 2020 i went through a breakup um with my only boyfriend ever and it was my fault um like i said i'm not gonna get into it but it was my fault it ended because of me and so that happened towards the end of 2020 i was with this person for almost two years but that was just like <laughs> i'm trying not to get too much into it but that relationship that space was just really near and dear to my heart and i completely messed it up and to this day cannot fathom that I even did that but I went through a breakup at the end of 2020 and 2021 was me trying to recoup and pick up the pieces and be better and be good again um it was just like an emotional roller coaster. Like some days I was good, some days I wasn't. And I don't want to say this was all because of the breakup or whatever, but um, that was a factor. It was just a really sad time for me for a second because I was really just trying to get used to and trying to understand and come to terms with the fact that this is over, this phase in your life came and it's gone and I just had to transition into not speaking to this person being single again um yeah like I said 2021 I was just picking up the pieces from that that was like a big part of my year in 2021 and I will say that in getting over that not just getting over that but in just figuring out my life in general it was just a lot because that year also was um, my first year or 2021 I also had my first year of college all online so I was at home the whole time my whole first year of college which is crazy um I lived with my best friend Destiny if you watched my um or our video where we did questions about college you know that I lived with my best friend and I am really, really thankful for her because I feel like she helped me get through a lot of things um, in 2021. It was just really like nice having her there. If I didn't have her there with me, I, I don't know. But 
we just went through a we just went through a lot of things together. Like it was our both of our first times in college. We were like grown but not at the house and we were just really navigating life together and just figuring things out together. And one thing about me, I really value people who bring value to me. Like Destiny is really somebody that I can talk to about anything and not just like drama or just stuff that doesn't matter like I can talk to her about stuff that serious and stuff that matters and just important stuff the future life money goals whatever and I just really value people that I can connect to on that level I feel like that's what really helped me that year as far as just having her there there was always an ear and there was always an understanding here that makes sense. But yeah, so 2021 as a whole, um, it was just a lot. Like I said, the breakup, um, COVID, of course, freaking COVID. COVID is why I had to stay home for college for my first year. Um, 2021, I was the brokest I had ever been since I started making my own money or whatever. Girl, like I was just, it was just a really like, it was really a roller coaster, honestly. Like, I was really sad in a lot of moments in 2021 for a lot of reasons. And it was just a lot. I feel like in 2021, I felt every emotion that you could possibly feel throughout the whole year. And I, that's, you know, that's going to happen, I feel like, every year. But that was just, like, crazy. And it really hit me the most in 2021. I just experienced a lot of change. Like I said, Destiny lived with me, her moving in with me. A lot of change um me going to college change my mom actually just moved to north carolina and that was another change like it's just been a lot of like changes and transformations in 2021 i'll say oh and also 2021 i went to college for the first time i was talking about how i did my first year online but this year i actually moved to dc and um went to school on campus um at howard so i don't know how that slipped my mind but yeah like i said i just went through a lot of um changes and transformations in 2021 that kind of forced me to um make certain realizations about myself the people i'm around and i feel like 2022 is kind of the year to take those realizations and apply change so yeah that is kind of like a sum up of 2021 it was just like a roller coaster for real moving forward to 2022 um the first thing that i want to talk about is in the past month um not the past month in the past few months i have been big on signs and significance and just the fact that things that happen are meant to happen so I've just been really aware of like what happens around me and I've been really aware of taking the significance of situations and really like dissecting things and like just thinking about what I gain from certain situations rather than just you know going through them like I think it's important to anything that you go through to just really like look at it and like you know just think like what exactly does this mean why did this happen to me or at least try in the past few months i've just been really slowing things down and just thinking about everything that happens to me in a deeper way and just thinking like this didn't happen for no reason you know i don't believe that things happen for no reason i believe that things have significance things have a purpose and I've been really big on trying to find those purposes lately. And as far as 2022, like I said, in the past few months, that's what I've really been on um, mentally. And in the past few months, I started seeing 222 a lot. Like, I always heard people talk about angel numbers and like post angel numbers, but I was never that type of person. Cause I never, I didn't, I never caught them. I never saw them. I never really understood the meaning of angel numbers. And I never really looked into it or like thought anything of it. 
I just thought that was like a thing people did, but in the past few months, I started seeing two, two, two a lot lately, like every day, like just one day out of nowhere. I just saw it and I was like, hmm, okay. In the same day, see it again. I'm like, hmm, okay. And then like every day, multiple times a day, I started seeing two, two, two. And I was like, all right, it gotta be something. It has to be something. So I started looking it up. I started researching it. And what I found was just really interesting. And like I said, literally every day I was seeing this. Like I went from not seeing any angel numbers, like nothing, to just every day, multiple times a day, two, 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 everywhere. Outside, in my room, on my phone, just random, like everywhere. And I was just like, what is that? And I have some screenshots of some of the stuff that I read. I'm just gonna read it off to show y'all what I saw. And I'm talking about 222 specifically because 2022, 222, a lot of this stuff that I'm about to read is gonna resonate with the things that I'm trying to do in 2022 and the things that I'm trying to change in 2022. And it's just crazy to me because I don't know, like I just started seeing 222 months ago, every day, all day and now it's about to be 2022 and i don't know like i said significance i just feel like that's not a coincidence and i'm just gonna read off some little tidbits of what i found when i first researched 2022 i mean 222 because i found a lot of this stuff interesting and i wanted to save it so these are screenshots that i've been having and yeah i'm just gonna read off some of them um, so the first thing, it's just um, like a list of what it means and it's just different meanings. So the first meaning says you need a sense of peace, trust, and balance in your life. The second one says you need to trust in yourself and in the universe. The third one says you need to ignite your inner being, your true spirit from within you. And then the last one says you need to control your fears and thoughts. And first of all, that all resonates with me because when it comes to things that I want to do and things that I really see myself doing, there's a lot of fear and a lot of doubt. And I feel like I've always been like that for some reason. I've always been hesitant and I've always just really doubted myself when it comes to things that I want to do. And seeing that, like just saying like, you need to start trusting in yourself and trusting in the universe and trusting and basically essentially you need to start trusting that what is meant for you will come to you like especially the control your fears and thoughts part because like i said i have a lot of fears when it comes to just things that i want to do and things that i want to accomplish and i have a lot of thoughts that in a way hinder me because i'm always thinking what if what if what if negative 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 and i feel like a lot of that stops me from really believing truly believing in myself and what i'm capable of and what i can't do so that's the first thing this next thing says you are on the right track and doing the right things in life this number 222 is associated with happiness good fortune and joy i feel like this past year especially um when i went to college I feel like I just started doing a lot of things for me, like becoming more serious with YouTube, for instance, um, trying to tap into modeling and runway or whatever, and just being in school in general. And so just seeing like you're on the right track and the fact that I see 222 every day, it's like a reminder every day. You're on the right track, you're on the right track, you're on the right track. And that is just really, um, it puts my mind at ease, you know, it makes me feel like I'm I'm on the right track, like I'm doing what I need to do right now to get to where I want to be. So that as well. Um, another one says, it's time to start a new cycle in your life where you allow yourself to expand and grow. I did say um, 2021, I learned a lot and 2022 is where I'm going to apply that. So. I feel like it's time for me to truly, truly grow and like I said, apply the things that I've learned and 
allow that to help me become a different version of myself, a better version of myself than I was last year or any other year. And just growth period, growth in myself, growth financially, growth spiritually. Why well, just say my look like that? But just growth in every aspect. From some warm, it says, be true and faithful in what you believe. Focus on your thoughts and remain positive as it is a new cycle of your self-development and inner love. Here we go again with development and growth, faith in myself and what I believe in loving myself. And that is another thing that is really important. And I'm going to get into it more later, but self-love is something that I've also been um, trying to reach lately because, you know, everybody can say, oh, I love myself all day but like do you truly truly love yourself you know what i'm saying we'll get into it later because i have more to speak on that but um yeah wisdom intuition follow the gentle nudges from the universe um all is well and all is working in your favor you must control anxiety and fears since 222 symbolizes that you are capable of making excellent decisions while directing your growth on the path to your spiritual purpose. That, that hits something in me. Um, and yeah, that is just a few things, um, a few meanings and sayings associated with the number, with angel number 222. And like I said, I just feel like that really resonates with me and where I am right now, like the headspace that I'm in and the place that I'm trying to reach in 2022. And like, there's just a lot of connections that I don't think are coincidental again more with 2022 um I feel like 2022 one of the things I wrote down is 2022 will be a year of making decisions and accomplishing goals um there's just a lot of things in my life that I don't want to say I'm not happy with but a lot of things that I've contemplated and like really thought about and haven't really made moves on yet and I just feel like 2022 is a year that I really need to make like important decisions and that's another thing about me I'm not really one I don't like making decisions I don't like making tough decisions you ask me do I want this or this for dinner I don't even want to answer so when it comes to like big life decisions like I just really struggle with that because I just don't like making decisions again i feel like it has to do with fear and just thoughts of what if what if what if especially when it comes to family and just what other people will think that's just something that really hinders me so i feel like 2022 is definitely gonna be a year of kind of getting over that because decisions need to be made asap <laughs> i also said this will be a year of success in saving money. Um, 2021, I did a horrible job with money and just financially, period. I did not manage my money well at all. Now, I'm really trying to like pick up the pieces from that and regain my financial stability. Because, yeah, and then just being on campus or whatever, like i just was not using money wisely um so 2022 definitely a year of being smarter with money and being more strategic with money i would just buy stuff knowing i don't got the money but i'm gonna just do it anyways because i'll get some money someday like you should not live like that in my opinion i mean do what you want to do with your money but for me like sometimes it would come through but it's like it's just like a cycle and i definitely need to get better at saving and then success success like i said a year of accomplishing goals i have goals that i want to accomplish and i feel like 2022 is or needs to be um the year of putting things into action to reach them either that or fully accomplishing them like if i'm not reaching what the actual goal is i need to be putting stuff in place to get there 
2020 line there was a little bit of that but it wasn't like full fledged like i'm doing this this and this lining up this this and this so yeah okay so now that we talked about that a little bit i want to move on to the things that i actually do i mean i have been talking about things i want to change in 2022 but now I'm going to talk about some of my resolutions, my New Year's resolutions. And I wrote down seven specific resolutions. I chose the number seven. Like I said, I've just been really um, into numbers and significance and importance. And I chose seven resolutions because lucky number seven, you know, seven was always like, I don't know, like a special number to me but after researching it um seven the number seven is associated with positivity having this connection to the universe and more and all of that aligns with my whole two 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 thing and what that signifies and so i chose seven resolutions because positivity definitely need that going into the next year happiness most definitely need that going into the next year and connection not even necessarily to the universe but just to myself and to i don't know what this is right here that i'm doing yeah <laughs> so i have seven resolutions i'm gonna go through these a little quick but um my first resolution is to work out i've said this plenty of times like oh i'm gonna start working out i'm gonna work out i'm gonna work out because one thing about me there goes that heater um one thing about me i am a really skinny girl skinny bones girls skinny bones i'm really skinny i don't like it and i wanted to change it for years but i've never put the work in to change it you know and i ain't falling or nothing it's not like i can just hop up and go get a bbl so it's like girl you gotta get in the gym or you just gonna keep looking like that so what is it gonna be you know so i want to work out and i want to start to reach the the body goals that i have for myself the body that i envision for myself and i'm not even talking about like super thick super nothing like i just want to have a more fit Put together body because i feel like right now i just look skinny and i just look like i'm here like i just want to be more fit and healthy and also heavier because I'm, I'm super light like i just need some muscle i just need some you know i need to just be fit and yeah i was like iffy about whether i wanted to say that on camera or not but i was like go ahead and say it because now that i'm putting this out there i feel like i now have to um do it because like girl you can't just say it and then you ain't even do it it's on camera it's on youtube and everything you said you was gonna work out people are about to see this that you said you was gonna work out and you did what do you look like i'm saying it's on camera for a reason because if I look back at this next year and I'm still the same size because I ain't get my butt up and work out, I'm going to have a problem with myself. But that's not going to happen because I'm going to do it. Um, so that's the first one. Um, number two resolution is self-love. Just loving myself enough to do what's best for me at all times. Like I said, when it comes to making difficult decisions, like self-love means doing what is best for you and loving yourself enough to allow yourself to do whatever it takes to make yourself happy loving myself enough to take opportunities that are thrown at me um loving myself enough to actually work towards my goals just loving who i am at every phase because you know i'm not perfect never will be and if i'm able to love myself through the good the bad the ugly if i'm able to still look in the mirror at the end of the day and say india regardless of what space you're in i love you you know that is something that's really important to me and something that i'm really trying to reach um 
I feel like I, I am getting there, but I'm not fully there. And as far as the relationship that I got out of, now it's two years ago, which is crazy. But um, I realized that I didn't love myself um, when I got out of that because there was just a feeling that like I was not going to be okay without this relationship, which is crazy. Like, you don't need anybody to be happy. If you can't make yourself happy, nobody can make you happy, you know? And so, after that situation, there was just a lot of, like I said, 2021 was a rough year. Like, there was just a lot of giving energy to people that didn't deserve it. Giving energy, period. And just allowing people in my space that did not deserve to be in my space. Just as far as people I interact with and people that I communicate with and people that I give the time of day. Like, it was just a lot of energy given out that did not deserve to be given out because I was not in a space where I loved myself enough to keep that energy to myself regardless of how I was feeling, if that makes sense. So I'm really trying to reach a point to where I can truly say I fully love every inch of me. So my third resolution is to reach some of my entrepreneurial goals. YouTube is one of them. Um, because we all know that YouTube can make you money. Um, but also just businesses that I've thought about and actually wrote down things for. But I just had to um, make come to life. And so 2022, I really want to reach some of those entrepreneurial goals. Or like I said, at least put something into action towards them. Number four is to save and stack and begin my credit journey i just talked about the fact that 2021 i did horrible when it came to saving money this year i want to dedicate it and really the rest of my life but this year is when it's gonna really start um just saving and stacking my money i just said i want to complete some entrepreneurial goals entrepreneurship takes money you have to put money into that to start it up to maintain it all of that so i just really need to stack and save money and i also the second part of that was begin my credit journey i have not yet begun my credit journey i don't have a credit card yet i'm 19 um i definitely need to get a credit card and start building up my credit because you need credit to live and so this year um preferably real soon I want to get a credit card and start building up my credit. That's something that I haven't done yet. And like I said, I need to do it. So um, that is number four. Number five on my resolutions list is to continue to be consistent with YouTube. In the past month, I really began to take it serious. When I first started the channel, I didn't even post for real. And then when I started posting, it was like once a month, like girl, that is not gonna get you nowhere. And lately I've really just been consistent and I really wanna get on some type of schedule. I haven't gotten a schedule yet, but I have been posting a lot and way more frequently than I was before. So yeah, I just wanna continue to be consistent and continue with this level of consistency that I've been on lately and really get a schedule and start posting like at least a few times a week and just getting myself more out there getting myself more exposure posting different content so yeah being consistent with youtube that's number five um number six on my list is to get a new car and this may be towards the end of the year but um my car that i have now it's like a Toyota truck. I got it for my graduation. That was my graduation gift. Um, and you know, it, it got me from point A to point B. But it's time to just get something different. And I want to pay for it myself. And I just want to be able to say that I purchased my first car. 
on my own um next year and like i said this may be towards the end of the year but just sometime this year i want to be able to get in the car that's number six and then my seventh and last resolution is to move into my own place if my mom is looking at this she probably gonna be like but <laughs> yes uh wherever that is <laughs> i just want to get some type of apartment alone by myself or with a roommate but yeah i just want to get a new apartment i'm not even going to talk much about that but that's that's the goal that's the resolution like i said the car the apartment all of that maybe towards the end of the year but that is what i want i want to live on my own i want to have my own place so those were my new year's resolutions that was just me reflecting on 2021 telling you guys um just some things that i went through some things that have become important to me some things that i became aware of and just some things that i want to implement in the year to come i just really wanted to do a little personal video a kind of you know with my channel and you know the few people that are with me right now and hopefully some new people that will see this video but I just wanted to share that um that felt really good and I knew it was gonna feel good and this just takes me back to like I was supposed to be in Philly I was supposed to be having fun this video was not even thought of but I ended up being here and making this video and just really reflecting and thinking and it just felt really good to talk about that and say it out loud i write a lot of stuff down in my notes but i rarely say stuff out loud and like talk stuff talk my thoughts out so that just felt really good although this was not the original plan for new year's or whatever i'm really grateful for this moment and i'm grateful that i'm able to like talk about these things on camera and share it with people so yeah that is it for this video like i said that was really nice for me at least i hope if you reached the end of this video i hope that that was nice for you as well i hope whoever watched this enjoyed it definitely if you could relate to something that i talked about in this video or if you liked this or anything definitely comment below like the video of course subscribe if you haven't already share this video that heater um but yeah share this video again click my notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post a new video i'm coming with a lot of content because i really want to start being more consistent so yeah stay tuned because there's much 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 more to come much much more to see of me thank you for watching if you watched thank you for reaching the end if you watched the whole thing thank you for supporting me period and yeah that is it so i will see y'all in the next video Bye. <laughs>